Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys a new renderer called Corona and I'm currently using it within 3ds Max and I'm getting really good results from it, very realistic and the main thing that I like about this renderer is the simplicity and it's really very easy to, to set up and um, to get great results from it. So let me just show you guys a quick overview. So first of all I'm going to go to rendering, render setup and I'm just going to scroll down all the way, go to assign renderer and I'm going to set my production renderer to Corona and I'm using version 1.2.1 .1. and uh, let's just set my output resolution to HD and then I'm going to close it down and let's just set up a very basic scene so let's create a box for a floor and uh, let's use a teapot maybe let's just increase the segments to 32 and uh, let's just move that to the side Okay, and maybe let's create a sphere and let's increase the segments to 64 and maybe a cylinder as well. Okay, so we've got a basic scene set up and then we're going to add some lights to our scene. So I'm going to go to lights and I'm going to choose Corona and I'm going to choose Corona light. And then you just click and drag to set the size of your light and then you can move it around. So I'm just going to move it up a bit something like that and then we just need to apply some materials so i'm going to go to my material editor and then i'm going to right click materials go to corona and then i'm going to create a normal corona material all right and um, what we can do is let's just apply or let's just select all our objects and i'm just going to assign this material to them and um, let's just um, clone this material so i'm holding in shift and just dragging this to the side so we duplicating or cloning it and then on this one material, I'm going to just change the color. Let's make it like a light blue. And I'm going to set the reflection uh, to one. And then I'm going to assign this to the box or to the floor. Just like that. All right, so let's do a quick render and see how that looks. I'm going to click on rendering, render. And uh, let's see what we get. So as you can see, it's looking pretty good already. And this is only after a few passes. You can let it run for a couple of minutes and you'll get much better results. But as you can see, we've got some nice soft shadows and the reflections are looking pretty good. Just a very nice render. So let's close that quickly. I'm going to cancel the render. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go out of my perspective view. And then in this front view, I'm just going to right click on front and then go to extended viewports. And I'm going to set this to Corona Interactive. And then if you click this, it will basically give you a, it's like a RT render. Um, that will give you just a real-time um, render preview of what your scene will look like. So it works really nicely if you just want to quickly have an idea of what your lighting setup or your materials will look like um, just to, to get a quick preview. So obviously you can see we can um, see the light in our scene. So I'm just going to click on the light, go to its properties and then I'm going to switch off the visible directly and you'll see that that will disappear. And you can still see the light in the reflection so we can switch that off as well visible in reflections and that's going to disappear okay so let's go back to our material editor and let's just change some of these materials so i'm going to duplicate this one i'm just going to clone it and uh, then i'm just going to drag from the diffuse color i'm just going to drag a line out go to maps go to standard and let's choose a checker map for that and then i'm going to apply this to our teapot so I'm just going to right click assign material to selection and immediately our real time renderer is updated and we can see our material. So let's go back into that material settings and I'm going to change the reflection to one and you can immediately see that we've got a nice reflective material. OK, so let's do a quick render again, rendering and then render. Let's see how that looks like. So immediately you can see that it's a pretty good render. Um, the image is looking pretty nice and obviously need to wait a bit for these um, for the noise to to clear up a bit and another thing that you can do is you can go into the render setup and then under scene you can set your pass limit so let's say you want a minimum of 10 passes per render uh, you click on render and then it's basically going to go up to 10 and it's going to stop so obviously if you're doing animation or um, a whole lot of frames you want to set that limit because if you don't set it it's just going to carry on rendering that one frame uh, forever basically so it's always good to just find a uh, a limit or a, a pass limit that you're going to use and then it will 
stop and carry on to the next frame. So this was just a quick overview of the Corona renderer. Use the coupon code Corona TVT if you want to get 10% discount when buying the full version from the online store. Cool, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see more of these types of videos on my channel. And also remember to click on that subscribe button to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.